welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on bell notifications. So welcome to 2020, you guys. I wanted to start off the year by finally doing this room tour video because I wanted to film it as much as you guys want to see it and I just feel so accomplished to finally have finished this room. I mean, there's obviously still things I'm going to tweak and do, but because I'm just, you know, I'm OCD like that and I like to de redecorate and rearrange and stuff, so obviously there will be future videos on stuff like that. Finally get the official tour of this room up because I know you guys have been waiting. This room is basically my walk-in closet slash beauty room filming room. I just want to do like a quick disclaimer because I know that people can always have mixed feelings towards videos like this, but this video is obviously not to be like showy off you. Obviously, I work really hard for everything that I have. I own three businesses and I do so many things. I never stop working. I'm very, very proud of myself for being able to have all of the things that I have and I'm very grateful and very fortunate. Of course, that's not all there is to life. Videos are really fun to watch. I really love watching them, so I definitely wanted to do this for you guys, especially because one of the most requested videos here on my channel is a room tour. I just want to give you guys a quick message just to let you know that you guys can accomplish anything you really set your heart to. All you have to do is really like believe in yourself and just start, like just start. It doesn't matter what resources you have or what you have, just start. So I really don't want this to be just materialistic, you know. I want you guys to know that a lot of hard work, tears and sweat go behind everything that I am able to accomplish and have. I'm not a kind of girl that came from like a lot of money or anything, so everything that I've built, I've built, you know, myself. So I just, obviously with the help of, you know, the support of my loved ones and stuff like that. Anyway, I feel like I've rambled on enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay guys, so this is what you see when you come in my beauty room through the door. So I'm just going to shut it and show you guys what's on this wall. So this door right here is where you enter the room through. And then this one over here is a closet door where I store my eyelash stuff. But I'm not going to get into that because I feel like that would make a good video. Like for another video. So all I really keep over here is basically my fuzzy robes. This hook thing that holds my fuzzy robes is from Ross. Um, I will try to link everything that I can find in this room tour down below, but um, more than likely there will be a lot of similar items, if not the exact same, but I will do my best to find everything for you guys. So next to the entrance door are these two little um, pictures, and these pictures right here, I actually DIY to these. I have a bunch of these throughout my room, and I will link the DIY video below because it was really affordable. It's a Dollar Tree DIY, so you guys don't want to miss that. So right underneath that, I have this little basket, and this just holds all of my slippers, well, most of my slippers. I have a thing for slippers, as you can see. The basket I got from at home, it also has a throw blanket in there, as you guys can see, this throw blanket is really cute. It has like these little pom-poms. have my Victoria's Secret slippers. I will link these slippers if I can find them because these right here these are just so popular like everybody and their mom wants these they have them in pink and black so I will link them down below if I can find them I actually got this idea from my friend Brooke on Instagram she has her slippers stored like this and I was like oh my gosh that's such a good idea so I just went and found a little basket to store them and you come over this way and I have a circle chair this was actually a Christmas gift and I just decided to put it here. I didn't really know where I wanted it. I just left it there and then I just have a little eyelash pillow and my Victoria's Secret throw blanket. That throw blanket is so cute so if I can find it anywhere I will definitely link it. It's also really really warm and cozy. Right above that I have my nail polish rack. This was actually a DIY. One of the very first DIYs here on my channel. So I will link it down below, but don't get scared if I look really different because it was a very long time ago. And then we come over to my shoe shelf right here. And this is just where I basically put all of my heels that are nude and pink and white. I just have some boxes from my shoes to the shoe shelf. I have my first little set of like clothing rods. Above the clothing rods, I have these two paintings from Art Rose Prints, and 
The pictures actually just come like pictures and then I just frame them with IKEA frames. The first clothing rack has a lot of my jackets and coats and stuff like that. Show you guys a little bit. This is like a tweed jacket right here. So is this back one. These are some of my favorites. And then I have like this one that's like faux fur. Right below that I have this rack right here and this just has pretty much tops. In the very front, I have some of my scarves, so both of these first two ones are new. Actually, all of these are new, so I'll just try to show you guys. And then this one right here, I'm like obsessed with. It's Victoria's Secret, and it has like rhinestones all over it. In this rack, I just keep so many of like my favorite pieces. Um, also, I like to put new clothes on this rack. So that way I don't forget to wear it. I do also have another closet where I put like more clothes that's not like pink and white basically because I do have like black clothes, a lot of black clothes and reds and stuff like that. Throw those over there. I tried to keep this as uniform as possible just because I film in here and this is kind of like a little like I guess filming setup at the same time. So stores all of my favorite things so that's why this walk-in closet is like my favorite thing ever also like to keep a lot of my like pink like track suits and stuff because i like to just come in here and lounge and it's just so accessible to have them in here beneath this i just have some of my flat shoes like some slides my chanel espadrilles and just like shoes that don't have heel then we get to this section right here i always get so many questions about this piece right here in the middle and this is from ikea the shelves for my shoes and purses those are also from ikea they're the ikea ikea billy bookshelves and these are actually supposed to have doors that i need to purchase they're like glass doors this right here is also from ikea this is the pack system and i actually customized this myself and when i'm telling you guys this was actually pretty affordable i felt like I'm serious like this was actually really affordable just this middle piece right here i think was 500 dollars. if you plan to do like a whole room or something like that then of course it's going to be more expensive but i got crafty and i just got this middle piece and these clothing rods i got like at a i think home depot or lowe's and they were like 10 maybe 10 15 dollars a piece so it was such a huge money saver than to get an ikea system for the entire wall so right above here i have some shopping bags on this top shelf i have my favorite chanel bag this is my mini and i don't like to wear this one too much because i'm scared i'm going to ruin it because it's just so delicate and it's lambskin i have some diy books i plan on buying actual books for this um, but i just never knew where to find them and now i know that they have some listed like on amazon and some on etsy so i'm going to have to buy some of those soon here i just have this little tiny eiffel tower i found this at a dollar tree surprisingly and i thought it was really cute so i put it there i have some of my sl miss glam brushes and some of them are missing because i actually do use them and i need to wash those then i have a little candle and then another one of those pictures that I DIY'd. I have this little macaron and you'll notice I have these like all over my room because I actually use these to store my lashes. And this was actually from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I have this perfume coin bank and I got that from Z Gallery. The middle compartment of my IKEA pack system. This is probably like my favorite thing in the world because it just stores all of my favorite things like my accessories these are probably my favorite heels and that says a lot because i do have red bottoms and everything but these are just so cute to me i bought these on poshmark because they had sold out of like the original ones and i definitely don't regret buying these shoes In that i have this victoria's secret um perfume backup this is bombshell seduction which came out this winter season then I have this acrylic stand and this just holds my earrings. I found this on Amazon. I will, of course, link everything that I can down below for you guys. But um, yeah, this, this holds all of my earrings. Pretty much all of my earrings are from Target. Except for like these right here. Those are Juicy Couture. This mirror that you're seeing back here, I found at a Walmart. Again, if I can find it, I will link it. Right below that, I have my perfume collection, which I'm not going to get into too much detail because... 
I will be having an updated perfume collection video going up soon. So just stay tuned for that. But the tray that they are sitting on I found at a Ross. So I will do my best to find that for you guys and link it. Then I have this adorable little bracelet holder. And I just like to put my watches and stuff on this. And I don't really own that much jewelry as you'll notice. I'm just kind of like a jewelry repeater. Like I wear the same jewelry like on a daily basis. So I just like to have really nice quality pieces to wear. Um, I play it up a little with my earrings, but as far as like bracelets and watches and stuff, I keep it pretty simple. I'm trying to expand more of like my accessories, but um, I'm just such a lover for like dainty jewelry and stuff that I can just wear with everything. So I just don't find the need to have too much. This right here is my Michael Kors watch. I get so many questions about this watch all of the time. This is a smart watch and right now it's dead or I would show you. But I do wear this almost on a daily basis and I will link it down below for you guys. It is just the silver and rose gold combination. This bracelet right here actually has a lot of meaning to it. This was um, the bracelet Manny got me on our first year anniversary and um, if you shine a light through the little bubble in the center of the heart, it uh, shows I love you in a hundred languages. Right underneath that, I just have like this little like ring holder thing and that's where I keep my rings. I have my Pandora princess ring and just a little bow ring in there right now. And then in this one, I just have like really miscellaneous jewelry. Inside of that, I just like to keep some of my jewelry boxes. And then above that is this little um, hook thingy I guess you could call it I will show you this actually pulls out so I don't really normally ever pull it out but I thought I would show you guys how neat that is but yeah on this I just hang some of my barrettes um, I thought this was too pretty to throw away so I just kept it there as decoration um, I have some pearls I don't wear pearls too often but I like how they look decorated in my room which is really strange um, then I have this belt right here. Yes, this is a belt. It's from Juicy Couture. So now we get into the drawers. In these drawers, I just keep a lot of my just accessories. I have some SLGs here. I don't have too many. Obviously, this also isn't full, so we have some room to grow in this drawer. But I do have like my Louis Vuitton compact wallet, YSL card holder, which use the death out of that one it definitely has some wear and tear um and then i have my chanel wallet which was one of my most recent wallets i have both of my louis vuitton belts and then back here i have just some miscellaneous belts that i like to wear with you know different outfits and stuff this one's really cute it has a little bow and I believe these were like juicy couture or something i found these i don't know if it was marshall's or Ross, but one of those then I have some bracelets and then over this way I have some hair accessories and this isn't a hair accessory actually this is my Chanel brooch I always get a lot of questions on this so I will link it down below if I can find it I purchased it barely last year so it should still be available I have a bunch of sunglasses and I'm looking into investing into a good pair of sunglasses I'm thinking I might do Miu Miu because they have a pair that looks similar to this this is like my favorite pair of sunglasses and I think I'm going to have to buy those because I have already gone through like three pairs of these and I just feel like maybe if I get the other ones they'll be nicer quality and last a lot longer. Um, I also just got these ones right here. I don't really wear too many of these so I really should declutter this. Like I really only wear like three pairs of these out of all of the ones that I have. So I should probably look into that. And then these are my Ray-Bans. These are actual prescription glasses i do wear glasses when like i edit or i'm on the computer on to the second drawer i have more accessories and i did want to have two of these um kind of drawers because i wanted to expand my accessory collection and i wanted to make sure i had enough storage so obviously these are a little empty because still working on that but i just keep some of my favorite headbands you guys have seen me wear these headbands so much so i will link these below because i always get questions where they're from and then i recently got these fendi inspired ones back here i just have some winter hair accessories and more scarves let have like a Pandora booklet and like my Tiffany's bag right here. Moving on to these like clear looking drawers. 
in this top one i just keep a lot of like bralettes and a few lingerie pieces that are my favorites and this is kind of just like my little happy drawer um this first one is from well actually pretty much everything in this drawer is from victoria's secret except for like um these bralettes back here and this bando top right here so everything else is victoria's secret and you guys would have seen this if you watch my latest haul there's the other one okay, in this next one i guess i like to call this like my lounging pajama drawer i feel like i could have organized this a little bit better but this is what we're dealing with for now and i just keep a bunch of like my pajamas i have um pajama shorts pajama pants pajama sets and these right here are from a dollar general i found these for five dollars interestingly and they're really comfy but pretty much everything else is victoria's secret or victoria's secret pink so down here yeah these bottom ones are so soft and those are from victoria's secret and then i just keep some of my tracksuit pants in the store and all of these are obviously from victoria's secret pink and then I just have the ones that I um, did for my KKW Skims DIY video right here. And it's just, it's really fluffy. So like it literally takes up all that space. And then back there I just have some more pajamas. So in this next drawer here, I just have some skirts and shorts. And I'm still working on how I want to organize like my bottoms but for now this has been working pretty well this last drawer is kind of like just storage i just put candles camera equipment and stuff in here and just miscellaneous things okay so that is everything that's in this right here moving over this way i have all of my dresses so above these dresses i obviously have some more of those um art rose print canvases i feel like a little bright there we go now you can really see and then we have all of these dresses and i did get rid of so many this used to be so packed i couldn't like put anything else in there but um i got rid of a lot of them you guys some of my newer ones this one right here is from hot miami styles and it's so so beautiful i can't wait to find something to actually wear this to because it's look at the, the little sparkles are just it's so beautiful so if you're looking for good like cocktail dresses or event dresses i would definitely check out hot miami styles so this back here i always get questions on this is a robe and it's really extra i literally only bought this like as a home decor slash photo shoot piece because i mean i really don't wear this <laughs> too much but it's really 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 cute and that's from hot miami styles so below that, I just have some Victoria's Secret to my annual sale bags that I just need to throw away. And I have a shoe box. And then we get to my also requested like purse collection. And I think I'm going to do a separate purse collection because I'm planning on adding to this collection this year. So I'm going to like hold off a little bit on that because there's a couple more bags I want to get before I do this collection video and then i will talk to you guys more about where these bags are from etc etc and do a whole collection show you inside of each of them so you can see what they hold and stuff like that so just give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a purse collection like i don't have like a crazy amount of purses but i have definitely the ones that i love and this is like my dream purse collection so i couldn't be any happier with this below that is just miscellaneous things that I just really need to figure out where to put so they're just sitting there for now to this side and this is my ikea alex drawers this is two of the alex 5 drawers stacked on top of each other because the, this used to actually sit underneath my vanity like one on each side and then there was like a top to it but i decided to um just stack them on top instead of buying an alex 9 and then i get an extra drawer so it works out on top of this i just have a candle burning this is pink peppermint and it's on top of this tray that i got at uh i think it might have been hobby lobby but i think i've seen these on amazon as well so i'll link them um i have a little cupcake candle back there and this two-faced um little uh i guess 
what is this like a box yeah it's a box and what came in this was the holiday palette from like 2016 or something like that I have a, another Victoria's Secret perfume backup I just tend to like keeping them because the packaging is like really cute and I just like to display the backups instead of just shoving them in a drawer here well, next we get to my makeup collection and I'm going to save that for another video because it will be super long but I guess I can give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> these knobs that are on these drawers right here, I actually added them to the drawers because obviously the Ikea Alex drawers do not come with these. So I will link these below. I got them on Amazon. I'll link the exact ones so they're the exact size and everything. We get to my vanity right here and I literally get so many questions on where this vanity is from and this was actually a gift so I don't know where it came from but I know that Impressions vanity has a very similar vanity so I'm going to link that one down below um, but yeah it's just like a Hollywood vanity the chair is from Overstock so I will link that and this vanity also has the gold crystal knobs on it on this side of the vanity I just have my original beauty box and in here I keep some of my everyday makeup so on top of it I have this Kylie kit that I just purchased that I'm trying out it was 40% off so I'll link that down below because it's such a steal it comes with like five products for under $30 then I have my Victoria's Secret uh, makeup bag and I have one of my eyelashes so if you guys don't know most of you already know <laughs> I have an eyelash company and this is um, the packaging for my eyelashes once you like untie it it has like my logo behind there and it's just so glam and pretty so of course I have to display one burning champagne toast on top of this and I normally don't burn this many candles but for the tour I thought it would look really pretty so that's what we're doing as I can show you guys these are some of my everyday products right here um, I keep some clean blenders some as well as glam brushes this is her Barbie brush she recently sent me and I'm so in love with this brush it's so pretty then we have my Chanel Tan de Soleil and then I have some setting sprays and then in here I have basically more face products on the side I keep my little Too Faced gingerbread thingy and I use this on my body it's like a body shimmer and then I have another one of these macarons I have these everywhere <laughs> and then I have my strainer because I strained my hair today so it's just out here because I let it cool I didn't want to just put it back so I will link the strainer down below because I actually really like it it adjusts temperature and everything so really love that this side I have these little brush holders from glitter madness so I will link her Instagram below because these are so cute I'm so in love with these and I've had them for years and years and years I have my little flower box I actually DIY this and I have a video on how to do it so I will link that video down below we get to my little coffee bar cart I have an entire video setting this up you guys so if you're interested, I'm going to link that as well. Another one of those flower boxes that I DIY'd. Little uh, mug stand I will link below and some mugs. And then right on top, I have my pink Keurig. I always get questions about this Keurig. Um, this Keurig was actually a limited edition this holiday season. And if it comes back in stock, I will do my best to link it. But I will link the exact model of it, just in different colors, as it's such a good little single-serve coffee maker. My favorite mug, which I will also link because I always get questions on that. And in here, I just store my K-cup, so this actually just opens. And then I have my skinny syrups, which I will also link. You can find these on Amazon. And then I have just some mini marshmallows and some... Starbucks mocha packets to sweeten the coffee and then I have this little sign back here that just says coffee on it right above that I have my canvases that I DIY'd which you guys have already seen the video on this if you've been subscribed but if you're new I'm going to also link that video it's the same video um, that I did the flower boxes in so yeah I will link both of those and these just look so nice right here it really filled up the space over this way I have my full length 
Hollywood mirror. Again, this was a gift, but Impression Vanity makes a similar one, so I will link it. I'm literally just wearing all black with a blazer because um, I have to work today. And I always wear all black when I work, which is funny because you guys see me wearing pink most of the time, but I don't always wear all pink. <laughs> um, I love pink, but I don't wear it every day. Um, right above that, I know you guys are going to ask this sign says my name <laughs> and this was a, a really generous gift for my best friend Amy for my birthday however I have um, the link to where you guys can actually buy one of these so I'm going to link that below um, because I do get so many questions about where I got this a lot of people want one for like their nurseries or their beauty rooms or bedrooms so yeah let me turn the turn, trying to turn the light down a little bit so you guys can see it just lights up like a neon pink color right below this i have my little ottoman and this is basically like my coffee storage so inside of this i just keep a bunch of extra coffee finally we get to my sofa i get so many questions on where this sofa is from and so i'm going to link it because i did end up finding it online and this sofa actually turns into a bed so if you're looking to put this in like your beauty room but you don't want to take away from having like a guest bedroom this is a really great idea to put a sofa bed in your beauty room so that guests can still sleep over the throw pillows um, are from ross except for this middle one right here this one is from kirkland's and this kitty this kitty is from where'd you come from kitty <laughs> just kidding so this is my baby dior yeah she's so sleepy she's so sleepy mama oh the sleepy mama look at her she loves loves this i love her so much so yeah my cats like to lounge on this because of the soft velvet it's just comfy for them so a lot of the times if I'm in here doing anything, they're in here lounging on this couch. And right above the couch, I have these two canvases. So these I found at a Home Goods. If I can find them, I'll link them. But I would just check your local Home Goods because I, I don't know if that I'll be able to actually find these. Here's a little overview of that. And then we're back to the entrance. And the last part of this tour is this right here. Here's the latest addition to my beauty room. I just added this because I wanted somewhere to store my body sprays and stuff like that. So I went ahead and put this in here. This is from Target. It's really inexpensive. So I'm going to link that as well. On top I have this crystal lamp. Again, we'll link that. I have my Instax mini camera. This was a gift from my friend Amanda and I love this so much right next to that i have this um juicy couture makeup bag which was a gift from my friend anime i'm just so blessed to have so many awesome friends that are always thinking about me like good at this that talking about sappy stuff so i'm just going to stop um next to it is this peony petals candle this is one of my favorite candles and i always find these at home goods or ross um, except this one was actually a gift as well that my friend Anave got me for Christmas along with this makeup bag. And then right behind that I have another one of those pictures that I DIY'd. And then I have my macarons but I have them in all three colors. That I have all of my body sprays. Um, if you guys want to see like a collection slash review of my favorites and stuff let me know. Next to that I have my little acrylic lipstick holder i will link this as well and this just has all of my luxury lipsticks in it so like we have some chanel charlotte tilbury ysl dior and then some limited edition mac ones behind that i have this gorgeous sl miss glam box that i just love displaying because it's so pretty my friend charlotte actually makes these so if you guys are interested i'm gonna link charlotte's etsy down below because i have that one and then i also have this one that she made me I'm just so obsessed with them. So right next to that, I have all of my lotions. And then I have my Hello Kitty slippers that I got at Universal when Manny and I went last summer. Again, Charlotte's Beauty Box. And then I have some extra makeup bags down here and my Betsy Johnson leopard slippers.
that's everything for this tour I'm going to make this outro quick because I really have to go <laughs> and meet a client so um, thank you guys so much for tuning into my room tour and just for watching and I really really am so grateful when you guys interact and comment and put likes because ultimately that helps my channel grow and of course we are all for growth especially this 2020 so thank you guys for all the support you all consistently give me just know it doesn't go unnoticed and I do try my best to respond to everybody. So make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram as well because I do post a lot of pictures and content on that. And also subscribe to my newsletter on my blog because I am going to start posting personal diaries on there as well as um, resources for you guys to use. And all of my favorites and everything are going to be on my website. So I'm going to link my website below so you guys can go and... Subscribe to that too. <laughs> Stay until the end. Leave this emoji right here. And I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Mwah. Bye.